Hey yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy Nori back with a little banger for y'all today. And today I'm coming at y'all with the best playmaking badges for play shots in NBA 2K22. But before we hop into that, I gotta let you know that it's mandatory to sub Nori man. Go drop a sub and like on this vid before the vid even starts. Alright, before we hop into anything that has to do with a play shot, I want to first start off by saying you see the blue bird in the bottom left corner, man. Go ahead, go to that blue bird app and drop a follow. I told you I'm plugging it every single video now. And besides the blue bird, I want to let y'all know y'all been going crazy with the subs. And that's why if we hit 10K subs before Thanksgiving, I'm bringing y'all a giveaway. You feel me? 10K subs before Thanksgiving. Y'all getting the giveaway. I promise you. I ain't gonna disclose the amount depending on how fast we get it i might up it a little bit you know what i'm saying y'all know last time i did a giveaway i wasn't even making bread off youtube yet and still gave away like what 30 40 dollars you feel me so y'all just stay tuned for that y'all make sure y'all sub up now that we here you know what i'm saying on to the video part obviously i can tell something a little different about my player besides my drip you know what i'm saying my drip elite you feel me with the cardigan on who you know rocking the cardigan but yeah i'm on the mini guy you know what i'm saying the little five seven mini guy He's tiny, you know what I'm saying? But with that comes that he's a playmaking shot creator. And obviously, me, I don't have my playmaking shot creator badges maxed out on this player yet. So we're gonna have to go into the player builder, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to break down each and every badge. Best believe I have played on the play shot before, so I don't think I'm not a credible source. Plus, on my pure playmaker, I would say that I get to experience more badges at once anyway, so I can definitely tell you, you know what I'm saying, the best playmaking badges as a play shot, you feel me? Now, we know it's season two, so a lot of y'all, matter of fact, let me just use this, you know what I'm saying, just, just hit test build right here, you feel me, so I can speed up the process, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, 24 playmaking. If you don't got 24 playmaking, you probably made your play shot wrong, but it's all good though, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna go through the most important, then we gonna, you know what I'm saying, we gonna circle back to uh, if you have 24, you feel me? So. Like I said, it is season two, so I, not, I know a lot of people want to make new builds, reverse all that, you know what I'm saying, be a play shot because it's so easy. So why not bring y'all the best playmaking badges? I already brought y'all the best shooting for a play shot, so it's time to bring y'all the best playmaking for a play shot so y'all can be a complete demi, you know what I'm saying? And y'all can ISO like everybody else who just runs side to side and shoots threes, you feel me? All right, so first thing we're going to start off with is the most important badges which in my opinion, they are all equally important. So if you don't have 12 with these three right here, these badges will save your life in any situation, all right? Quick chain and quick first step is making you move way faster than your defender. Obviously, you know what I'm saying? You can look at the 2K Labs test and everything to see how much it increases your speed, but just know you gotta have them Hall of Fame if you wanna maximize your potential, you know what I'm saying? The best way to, uh, to speed boost is simply just having quick first step on hall of fame even if you don't got quick chain on you got quick first step hall of fame your player's gonna speed boost way faster quick chains will allow you to change your moves together obviously you know what i'm saying pretty self-explanatory by the name but with this when you hit somebody with a misdirection they're actually gonna go the wrong way because it was too quick for them to just pick you know what i'm saying the direction you, you feel what i'm saying then handles for days is a very important badge I learned that when I was trying to play on my build, like, well, obviously I already knew Handles for Days was important, but I didn't know that it would be this detrimental if you don't have it on, you know what I'm saying, if you don't have it on at all. I was on my little mini god or whatever, he had like a cool little 85 stamina or whatever, right? This 3v3 problem, by the way, I wasn't out here just losing park games for no reason, you feel me? So, I had no Handles for Days, bro, when I tell you, after you speed boost one way, literally you speed boost one way with no hands for days you're out of stem once you're out of stem and you try to shoot your shot it goes in slow motion i've been telling you about fatigue shooting hands for days what's gonna prevent you from shooting slow jump shots because your stamina bar is low you feel me like i said i taught you how to get gym right go get gym right hitting i taught you how to hit 95 99 fast watch my videos bro i'm telling you i can i teach you how to be successful in this game i know a lot of y'all you know what i'm saying yeah, y'all don't like the grind, but I tell y'all the quickest way to do it. Next badge we're gonna hop into is unpluckable, all right? Now, unpluckable, it depends on what you rocking on, all right? I'm gonna keep it a butt with you. Um, in reality, having a Hall of Fame is the best, but I know some people that can just dribble really, really good to where they can put it on silver 
and they can speed boost away from you. So you won't even get close enough to you. They won't even get close enough to you to rip you. You feel what I'm saying? Unpluckable doesn't help with uh, blitz and getting blitz and bump steals. It only helps with plucks. So if somebody has pickpocket and they spam it square on you, they're going to get the steal. If you have a Hall of Fame, you know how 2K is. The badge barely works regardless. But if you're not the best at dribbling, put a Hall of Fame. If you know how to get open without them being close to you at all, like I'm, I'm talking you got them confused the whole time defensively, you can put it on the lower tier just to save as much um, upgrades as possible. But in this you know what I'm saying, scenario, we're going to put a Hall of Fame. You feel me? Now, these last eight right this is how this is how i look at it so bullet passer a lot of play shots don't pass the ball all right a lot of play shots do not pass the ball we know this that's just how they operate if you are like that to where you're going seven for seven every game don't pass the ball you know what i'm saying but me on the other hand having a pure playmaker build i know how effective bullet passer is me i'm rocking bullet passer for the simple fact that i know the difference between no bullet passer and hall of fame bullet passer so me i'm gonna put it on hall of fame that is completely up to y'all if y'all want to rock bullet passer like i said nori always give y'all a little bit of freedom so when it comes to these upgrades you could save them on bullet passer but me i gotta rock my bullet passer because i throw dots i promise you i'm watching i'm watching more than just the person that's standing in front of me so i'm ready to throw that dot then these last four me bailout bronze is a must um it just changed it from you shooting, uh, passing out of a shot out of bounds and you passing out a shot into your teammates' hands. You feel me? Now, the next badge I say is tight handles. I know a lot of people started uh, using, I mean, stopped using hyperdrive. And I, I also hopped on that wave to stop using hyperdrive just because it doesn't help me three hunt. It only helps me when I'm going down the court. So, like, if I'm running and dribbling, that's the only time it really helped me. So me, I put on tight handles to get that ankle breaker animation. But considering a lot of y'all don't do momentums on purpose and y'all don't do that little L2. If y'all watch my power tight handles, I, I explain this. But if y'all don't hit L2, which is your, your little size up to get an ankle breaker and speed boost out of it to stun them, then just scrap tight handles and put on your hyperdrive, right? You can put it on gold and then put your bailout on bronze. And then if you do rock tight handles, then you can go like this. Put your bullet passer gold, put your tight handles Hall of Fame. That's what I suggest, you feel me? Now, like I said, every play shot is going to be different. But even if we take off these badges right here, you make sure that you have these four badges Hall of Fame. And then make sure you got bailout bronze because you're going to get put in situations where 2K don't want to see you succeed. And you're going to start fading and you got to pass out. So make sure you got your bailout bronze. But these last seven, Nori TV putting on that bullet passer because i'm throwing that dime and then these last three I, i'll experiment with tight handles it's like gold but if it don't if it don't hit the same on my play shot like the like it does on my pure play then i'm gonna go ahead and go hyperdrive you feel me now that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video hopefully a lot of y'all did stay to the end if you did i appreciate you matter of fact if you did make it this far in the video i want you to go ahead comment down below um Comment down below uh, what you're going to be for Halloween, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all going to be for Halloween. Or if you're not, you know what I'm saying, doing nothing for Halloween, let me know what you would have wanted to be, you know what I'm saying, for Halloween. You feel me? I know I know, it's still a, it's still a major crisis going around, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all parents won't even let y'all go. But like I said, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up. I appreciate everybody who did watch to the end. Remember, if we hit 10K before Thanksgiving, we're doing a big giveaway, no cap. Y'all make sure y'all like up this video up to the channel and uh it's been your boy nori and uh i'm out